And don't forget, you can always get up to the minute forecast with the CBS Philly weather app. Download it for free on Apple and Android devices. Now at 10, the family of a 34 year old left paralyzed after a hit and run crash is pleading for the public's help tonight to find the person responsible and asking them to do the right thing. Tonight, they spoke with eyewitness news reporter Alicia Roberts. He was known to walk miles because he didn't, he didn't drive. Around 9.30 p.m. on May 4th, Chad Dukevich was on his way home from Wawa when he attempted to cross Lincoln Highway near Route 1 in Ben Salem. He said he didn't see a car from anywhere until it was too late, basically. His sister telling CBS3 he was nearly all the way across when a silver sedan came barreling toward him. He said he remembers turning and trying to jump. When the car before the car hit him, the driver never stopped. They've been pretty comfortable telling us he'll never walk again. Chad is now paralyzed from the armpits down and will require round the clock care for the rest of his life. He's 34 years old. He still has more than half his life left. And he, right now, he can't really do anything but sit in a bed. I mean, he can't, like I said, he can't itch his face if he has an itch. He can't. Change the TV channel. He, he literally just has to sit there and wait. If somebody runs over a, a human being and everybody just goes about their business, someone had to see something. It's been five weeks. You've drastically and permanently changed someone's life. Chad's family now making an urgent plea for the driver to come forward. Doesn't change anything, but there is a part that it does give you some closure to know that that person is being held accountable for their actions. Once again, officials are looking for a two door gray or silver sedan with a sunroof and substantial front end damage. Anyone with information is asked to call police. Reporting in Ben Salem, Alicia Roberts, CBS 3 Eyewitness News.